I'm very much humbled to be part of you today, sharing the program which is real next to my heart, or close to my heart. What I'm going to share today is the postnatal clubs. They are the first of its kind in South Africa, and they are in Kailicha. So I'm sure Kailicha is really a learning world. Postnatal mother and child transmission in South Africa is high at 4.3% at 18 months. The uptake of child infant HIV testing is also poor. That's the reason why we wanted to try and come up with solutions. This is my team, which I would really be happy if they are online in Kailicha way back home in South Africa. Kailicha is a peri-urban informal settlement with a population of 500,000 people, 12 health care centers, HIV antenatal prevalence at 34% in 2012, mother-to-child transmission at 0.8 at 10 weeks in 2015, and unknown at 18 months. We have a, we've conducted a VIET study, which we have seen that in this particular clinic, where we have tested all babies' PCRs postnatally, and we have found out that 25% at 18 months of these babies were traced, were tested before being traced. Then additional 13% of the babies were tested after tracing. What we have done, we have done follow-ups with these babies. And after the follow-ups, we tried to do two phone calls and one home visit. Then what are the solutions? We've adopted the Adult Art Club, integration of mother-to-child health, integration of HIV and non-HIV care, and a thousand days. What we are doing in the postnatal clubs, we recruit the mother infant pair at six weeks. Then at 10 weeks, they start to be part of the club. We are having the first session at 10 weeks, which lasts for 45 minutes, a peer support facilitated by mothers to mothers mentors, HIV and non-HIV topics are discussed, including high-risk and non-high-risk mother-infant care. Then it's a one-stop station. They are seen by a post nimat nurse or a nimat nurse in a clinical visit at every session. This nurse gives them extra care. Mother is given the HIV care and non-HIV care to the mothers. And with the children, we do PMTCT and EPI, that is the vaccination of the babies. We screen for mental health, early childhood development, and support breastfeeding. Here, I will be sharing this slide with you. But before I share this slide, we started this postnatal program in a clinic in town too, way back in June 2016. And these are the, the results from the postnatal clubs from July 2016 until March 2018. We've recruited 296 mothers. I want us to concentrate on the 18 months because the program, we recruit them from six, six weeks until six months, but they are in care for 18 months. So what I want us to look here It's there, the 18 months. We are having 82% remaining in care in 18 months. Then we are having, we are doing viral completion and looking into suppression. The viral completion in 18 months, it's 96, as you can see, and the viral suppression is 96. We also look at the infant, infant coverage of vaccination there. We vaccinate them at intervals, but we are more interested in the 12 months vaccination, which is 84.5%.
and we look at the infant rapid test uptake. At nine months, we've got 99%, and at 18 months, we've got 93%, which is good. And we don't have any positive baby in the program. We have conducted qualitative studies, and we have done in 10 in-depth interviews and three foc focus groups. Here I'm sharing the perception of the participants, non-participants, non-club participants, and club participants. This is the knowledge that they have acquired. Adherence, they said that it has, the PNC had, had improved the adherence. I was educated about the importance of breastfeeding a baby. That is the perception of a participant, a mother participant. Infant feeding and healthy diet for mothers and babies. Follow-up tests and treatment for babies. Early childhood development activities. Before the child is tested, you receive counseling. All of us would talk about it, the test that is going to be done on the baby. We test the babies at certain intervals. We test the baby at nine months and 18 months. Then 18 months is the last one that you can confirm that the baby is negative. Peer support generated by PNC. Dynamic, this is their perception. They started not knowing each other on the first visit, but now they are friends. We learn to share in the club. If one of you doesn't have, you provide. They become friends. It improves their relationships, community support and knowledge transmission, family support, Disclosure, advice, stigma reduction, role models. They give the clear understanding of HIV and the ability of sharing it at home. The knowledge they gain from the PNC, they teach the others at home. They can even send a body to come to the clinic if they don't have time to come. Influence of PNC on behavior. Health behavior has improved. PNC participants adapt their behavior based on advice they receive in the PNC. PNC helped me to monitor my health and my baby's health. Motherhood, PNC participants said they gained reassurance about their ability to breastfeed and care for their babies. Now I know that a baby can hear, so I must speak to my baby and I must play with him. Advantages of PNC. Sharing experiences, time saving, comprehensive care, staff attitude and setting, and setting, patients follow up and data collection, health education, mental health assessment and support, health outcomes improves assistance to the participants. Again, they are having their own perceptions about the advantages. We are taken care of with my child at the same time, and the care they portray is excellent. Remember, I said this is a one-stop station. You see the mother and the baby at the same consultation. They know exactly when the child is due for their blood test, their results, their immunization. It's a nice program. Challenges related to PNC. Space and confidentiality issues, length of session, HR and workload issues, quality versus quantity, PNC meeting dates, sustainability and graduation. They graduate at 18 months because we are looking after them from, six, from 10 weeks to 18 months. If you use clinic staff, it would not have been the same because the clinic staff cannot sit eight hours doing 10 mothers and infant pairs there. Here again, we'll, we are looking at quality versus quantity. That's a topic on its own. Because as nurses, we've got our own targets, how many patients are supposed to be seeing. But with the PNC, the, the quality is the best more than the quantity. I wish it can always be like this, and we do not graduate at a certain stage. I wish we are not removed and always be in. Even if our kids are old, we can stay in. Other challenges, com complex preparation of the club, scheduling of clubs, scripting, recruitment by two weeks of age, space and limitation for clubs to take place, some clubs too small, others clubs too large, high-risk mothers taking a lot of time and outcome 
not really improved, perceived increased length of visit, lengthy stationary that we have tried to shorten, need experienceness, that is the nematness or skilled in maternal and child health. Conclusion. PMTCT postnatal retention in care of mother-infant pairs remains a problem. The PNC model offers a comprehensive integrated package of care to mother-infant pair and improve health outcomes. The model generates knowledge and triggers positive changes in health behaviors and motherhood. PNC generates great peer support. Participants and staff show a high level of satisfaction with the model despite some operational challenges. PNC model highlights the absolute necessity to consult mother-infant as a pair and proposes high level of care requiring acceptance for reorganization and training of clinic staff. I would like to thank all the people that have been involved in the support <coughs> and implementation of the program, that is the MSF team, Mothers to Mothers Mentors, clinic staff at Town to Clinic, all mothers and infant pair of the PNC. I thank you. <laughs>